All right, at 947, let's get a check of your first warning weather. So 115, they might need the umbrella yeah. and the, uh, the old jacket with the hood on if you're going to that one, right? You know, I actually was at a grocery store and I was checking out and I actually bought one of those disposable rain ponchos. Listen, after that Christmas parade a couple weeks ago, yeah. it's good to keep one in the pocket just in case, I think. Yeah. Rain's on the way and it's going to be here by late this morning and this afternoon. I think this afternoon especially, we're going to have pretty widespread rain. Let's go ahead and check it out right now on WDSU First Warning Radar. Boy, you know, it's always nice having your own radar. And I worked at another TV station that had its own radar, but it wasn't as good as the one we have here at WDSU. Look at that line of showers getting ready to move right into our area. We'll zoom in and use our street level mapping. Baton Rouge, you have the bullseye on you. In the next hour, I think you're going to start to see that rain. And it's not just rain, it's some heavier rain. However, look at the upper right hand side of your screen. Total lightning strikes, zero. We don't expect much thunderstorm activity. The atmosphere just isn't going to get warm enough for that. But still, we can't rule out the possibility of maybe a rumble or two of thunder. Now, there's also some rain in the Gulf of Mexico. That's associated with a low pressure system that's kicking back some moisture into Louisiana. It's a low that we knew was going to develop, but it's more of a Florida problem than it is as far as we're concerned. But there you see some showers, quick moving showers that will likely affect Plaquemines Parish here in the next half hour or so. All right, current temperatures are close to 60 degrees and we're not going to get much warmer today because we're just not going to have much sunshine. Here are your current conditions at Lewis Armstrong International Airport. 63 degrees our temperature. There's your easterly wind, still at about 10 miles per hour. That wind is going to become more northwesterly late tonight. That's when some of the cooler air is going to move in. Before that happens, though, we're going to deal with rain. There's the low pressure system that we've been tracking since early last week. Yes, it's bringing a lot of moisture in from the Gulf, but thankfully the track that this low has taken has, keeping it, has kept it a little farther away from Louisiana. But Florida, I have a lot of friends back in Florida, they've all been bracing for this heavy rain over the last day or so. We're more concerned about the cold front that'll move through tonight. And ahead of the front, here you go, showers and maybe that isolated thunderstorm. But pausing things here right around the noon hour, you'll see that showers are starting to pop up. But the main area of rain, I think, is going to be the line ahead of the front really this afternoon with the cold front and that area of low pressure contributing all bets are off it's going to be a very unsettled afternoon with cloudy skies and showers the front will actually move through very late tonight now we won't clear off behind the front until late tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon so if you're coming to the cbd for the saints game it's going to be a bit on the chilly side here we are first thing in the morning on sunday okay we're in the mid 50s the afternoon not that much warmer. We will have sunshine, but it's going to be breezy and it's going to feel cool all day tomorrow. So mostly cloudy for today. Numerous showers and thunderstorms, most of them in the afternoon. And if you do see a thunderstorm, you're going to be one of the very few. They're racing today at the fairgrounds. The track is fast and the turf is firm right now, but that's probably going to be changing. The first turf race is at 245 and they might get rained off the turf. Cloudy skies with showers in the forecast early tonight, but if we do see a shower tonight, it's mainly going to be before 9 o'clock. And then tomorrow, okay, an improving weather day, finally. Decreasing clouds, breezy, temperatures rising by a degree or two, but with the breeze, it's definitely jacket weather tomorrow. All right, morning's getting cold in the 30s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for the North Shore, thanks to that second cold front that'll move through probably early Monday. But the afternoon's still pretty nice, 63 Wednesday, 64 Thursday, and 66 by Friday. Looks like our upcoming weekend may bring us another chance for rain, but that's still seven days off, so let's not worry about that. It's just a brace for the rain this afternoon because it's going to be a wet one with an inch to maybe an inch and a half of rain in some circumstances. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.